excited to see you. I'm Miss Courtney. This is Sam. Can you wave, Sammy? Turn around and wave. This is Rhett, Coco, and Eleanor. We recruited Eleanor in Margaret's filming. Anyway, we're so excited to see you. And um, today we are going to do the busy Bible builders again. So, what we're going to do to start is stand up, get all of our wiggles out. Can you get all your wiggles out? Okay, and then once we got all of our wiggles out, we're going to do the Toe for the Gopher song, and Rhett is going to help us. Can you help? No? Okay, Mom will do it. Okay, ready? So, y'all can repeat after me. Ready, Sam? Toe for the Gopher, one, two, three. Toe for the Gopher, one, two, three. Digs a hole right under me. Digs a hole right under me. Slowly I start sinking down. Slowly I start sinking down. Until we're sitting on the ground. Until we're sitting on the ground. Perfect. All right. We are so excited that you're here today. Um, and we are going to carry on from last week. So today is Busy Bible Builders. So on the count of three, we're going to say, let's get busy. What are we going to say, Sam? Busy. Let's get busy on the count of three. One, hey. two, three. Let's get busy. All right, let's get busy. Um, today's true Bible story is going to teach us that God wants me to share with my family. That's our big idea for today. So let's say it together. So this is what you're gonna say. Sammy, are you listening? Mm -hmm. God wants me to share with my family. Uh, so pause, we're gonna say it together. Ready, Sam? One, two, three. Uh, God wants uh, me to share with my family. Is sharing easy? What do we usually just want to do? Just keep it for ourselves. Do you know any toddlers? Maybe you have a brother or sister at home that's younger, maybe like two or three. And what do you hear them say a lot? It's mine. I want it. It's mine. Yeah, it's mine. So our nature is to say that it's mine. Sharing is actually pretty hard. Um, so, but our big idea is that God wants us to share with our family, and it's true. Today's um, story is true. I know. Can you turn that off? Um, all right. So we're going to do our memory verse. And our memory verse comes out of the book of Joshua, which is in the Old Testament. It's in which part, Sam? Where is Joshua? In the New Testament or the Old Testament? The New Testament. The, oh, the Old Testament. Where is the book of Joshua? Is it in the Old Testament. The Old Testament. All right, so our memory verse is, as for me and my family, we will serve the Lord. Joshua 24, 15. So, Sam, can you hold this for me? No, I'll hold it. Okay, come oh, I need a blanket. I need, I'm too small. Okay, hey, you need a good blanket. Here's your All right, so. Where? Here's my dirt. Um, let's see. So we're going to do, hey, Rhett, we're going to do the hand motions together, okay? So as for me, y'all put your thumbs towards your chest. Sammy, as for me, y'all got to say it with me. As for me and my family, and my family, we will serve, we will serve the Lord. The Lord. Joshua 24, 15. Joshua 24, 15. Okay. Hey, Sam, we're going to do it one more time. Are you with me? Look at my eyes. Ready? Okay. As for me and my family, we will serve the Lord. Who are we serving, Sam? The Lord. The Lord. Joshua 24, 15. Okay, so that is a really good verse. Y'all practice that with your mommies and daddies at home, okay? Good job, good job, good job. Thank you, Coco. You're um, Okay. We are going to skip the story time rolls because 
we are not at church right now, and so we're going to hope that y'all are kind to your siblings at home. Um, all right, so, all right, I'm going to tell you, um, I'm going to ask you a question. Do, who here likes donuts? <laughs> Me! Sammy, do you like donuts? Yep. <gasps> Can you rub your tummy? Mm. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Red, do you like donuts? You do? Yeah, me too. Um, okay, let's imagine something together. Sam, mm. show me how you're imagining. Mm. All right, I have a picture for y'all. Come here. Mm. All right, I don't know what I did with the picture. Okay, so we're going to imagine. It's okay. We're going to imagine. What if you came downstairs or came into the kitchen? Hey, Coco, don't worry about it. Um, and there were two donuts left. That's okay. And there were two donuts left. You're good. That's fine. Um, and Red, think about this. And what if you're like, oh, those two donuts. I really want both of those donuts. But I know Coco really wants a donut too. So do you think you would, would you, and you wanted both of them. So it'd be really hard to share, wouldn't it? Because you would want both donuts, right? Yeah. Um, um, all right, now imagine this. So say you decide to share with Coco, which is super sweet. Do you think you would let her pick which one? You do think you would? That's really sweet. I don't know. That's fine. Yeah. Um, so do you think you would let her pick which donut she wanted? So what if there was a vanilla donut and a chocolate donut, and you really wanted the chocolate donut? And so you thought, okay, I'll let this one. I'll let Coco have one of the donuts, but I really don't want her to pick which one because I really want that chocolate one. Do you think that you might let her pick first? You do. That's super sweet. So it's really, really, God wants us to share, but what's really sweet is if we let the other person pick first, and that's really hard to do. Um, so I'm going to tell you a story out of the Bible that is true that talks just about this. Sharing with your family can be hard, but letting them pick first can be even harder. That's what a man in our true Bible story did today. He didn't have any donuts, but he had lots and lots of land. Sam, he had lots and lots of what? Land. Not only did he share his land, but he let someone in his family pick first. So, um, so if you're ready to hear the Bible story, wiggle your fingers in the air. Wiggle your ears if you're ready. Blink your eyes. Okay, I think y'all are ready. Um, all right, first, let's get our Bible out of the super duper Bible box right here. Ready, Roo? Here it is. Okay, our Bible comes out of the book of Genesis. Who knows where Genesis is? Old Testament or New Testament? Old Testament. Old Testament. Is it the first book of the Bible or the last book of the Bible, right? First. First. Boom. That was awesome. Okay, so, uh, let's see. In the book of Genesis, which is the first book of the Bible, there was a man named Abram. So let's get building. Remember, this is the busy Bible building Sunday school lesson. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to build a tower, Sam. We're going to build a tower. So look, we have blocks that are going to help us tell our story. We have one, two, three, four, and five. So let's see if we can find the blue number one. Red, good job. Sam, where's blue number one? Right there. Okay. I got it. I got it. Crazy. Okay. Um, so look, here's the first block, and on the back, can I have a beanbag so I can stop them? No. I need one. Can I borrow? Hey, Sam, look at this picture right here. Can I borrow? I think I want to. Hey, don't stop. I think I want to borrow one. Okay. Okay. After we're done. No, I need it. Hey, you're going to have to sit over there. I need one. I need that. Can you do the beanbag? Okay. Um. Okay. So, on this picture, what do y'all see? What do you see right here? Um, a shepherd watching after his animals. Yeah, it does look like a shepherd. So, this guy is Abram, and Abram loved God very much. He was also very, very wealthy. Can you see that, Margaret? Yes. Um, he had lots of silver and gold and animals, and there was something else that Abram had. You know what we're going to have to do? Watch the blank. What do we have to do? We have to find the next block. I know where it is. Where's the next block? Right there. <gasps> what number's up there? Two. Perfect. Okay, so on the second block, we're going to turn it around. 
Here, I'll hold it. Um, all right, so what do y'all see right here? Two donkeys trying to um, fight, fight over the grass. Oh man, they're, they're trying to chew the same grass and they have to have grass to live. So look, so in this one, let's see. Um, Abram, where did I put that? Uh, Abram had a nephew named Lot. Lot was part of Abram's family. Wherever Abram went, Lot went too. But there was only one problem. Lot also had lots of animals and the land did not have enough food for both Abram's animals and Lot's animals. So here's what's happening. They both have lots and lots of animals. You have to have water and grass and different things for their animals to eat. And so if you've got too many animals on one small part of land, it doesn't work out very well, right? Right, so that's why they're kind of fighting over that grass. All right, Sam, we need the yellow, yellow number three. Where is it? <gasps> oh, perfect. Okay, thank you. So, on this one, what do you see in this picture? I see a big guy, Abram, I think, and he's pointing like two places. And then there's another guy with like, he's like a shepherd or something. All right, so this is Abram and this is Lot. And basically Abram is saying, you know what, I'm going to share my land with you. So this is what we're talking about, right? We're talking about sharing. And you know what? He is going to let Lot make the choice. And so he says, he showed him all of his land. He said, this is all the land that I have. And he said, if you decide to go this way, then I'll go that way. This way has this, that, and the other. That way has all kinds of stuff. So he let Lot pick. Um, and he said, we're part of the same family. So let's not argue with each other. We can share the land. I'll let you pick first. If you go this way, I'll go that way. And if you go that way, I'll go this way. So, wasn't that super sweet? That's like letting Lot choose, we'll choose which one he wants. Um, okay, who knows where the red number four is? <gasps> it's okay. Thanks, dude. Okay, you can do the next one. All right, this is number four. Thank you, thank you, Red. All right, so on this one, here's Lot. And it looks like he's made his choice, doesn't it? So he, let's see. Um, what do you see in this picture? Let's see. Lot looked all around in the distance. So he saw a river valley with lots of food and water for his animal. It was like a beautiful garden. So Lot chose this land for himself. He said goodbye to Abram and, and traveled to his new home. All right, Coco. Where's the last block? choose but guess what he was still left with some really awesome land and so God blessed him um, and the land that he settled in was really really great let's see Abram looked at the land that was left it was also very nice God blessed Abram and his new land God said to Abram look in every direction I will give you all the land you can see it will be for you and all your family who comes after you so Abram set up his tent there. He was so, so happy for his new home. Good job, y'all. Wait, is there another one? No, there's not. Isaac? There's not six. There was just five. And y'all did a really good and job. We can make more. So today, in our true Bible story, Abram and Lot were part of the same family. Did you know that your family is a gift from God? Did you know that? Yes. It is. And it's true. God gives us our family to care for us and help us love and follow him. I have an idea. I think we should thank God for the people in our family. Let's get down really low and quiet, Sammy. Can you get down really low and quiet? Yeah. I know. When we point to you, can you jump up and shout, thank you, God? Okay? Sam, so I'm going to say, thank you, God, for our mommies and daddies. No. You don't want to Okay. Coco, thank you, God, for our mommies and daddies. You don't have to pray so you back. Said, thank you, God, for our mommies and daddies. All right, Red, Red, what about our brothers and sisters? Thank you, God, for our brothers and sisters. Good job. Eleanor, what about our grandmas and grandpas? <laughs> thank you, God, for our grandmas and grandpas. 